Beginning today's show, recent rains are delaying what has already been a frustrating harvest season. So when there's a few breaks in the clouds, you might be tempted to head back out to the field to try and make up some lost time. However, driving a heavy piece of equipment across a wet field is a recipe for deep ruts and soil compaction. Nebraska Extension Engineer Paul Yassa has some ways you can combat compaction. Well, compaction is a uh, loss of pore space between soil particles. Uh, I like to say soil is half there, half not there. The solids are non-compressible. And so when we drive on something when it's a little wet, we squish down, leave a rut, leave a track, that's the pore space reappearing on the soil surface. Now with harvest, there's a lot of weight on those tires going across the field and we can really leave some deep ruts in wet fields. Let that soil dry out enough to give me some uh, physical support of the weight of the combine, weight of the grain cart going across the field. But again, when you start looking at the long range weather forecast, it might be there's a rain coming in five days and boy, if I get, and get to the field four days earlier, that's going to make a big difference. And that's when we really start causing protection problems. And that kind of leads into my next question as far as any sort of equipment adjustments one can make to minimize it. Any, anything else you want to mention on that? Well, one of the key things is I tell farmers when the combine's going across the field anyway to get the grain out, let the grain cart follow the same tracks as the combine. And it could be that you're going to load the grain cart a little bit off center, or it could be you have to get a longer auger for the combine so you can get the grain cart on the same tracks. Since 85% 80, of damage done on the first pass, don't let the grain cart do more damage. I get too many grain cart drivers say, I'm going to move over to spread out the compaction. Why would you want to compact more in the field? Stay on the same track. Now, if it's really wet, I prefer to keep the grain cart out of the field. Uh, don't add additional tracks. Keep the grain cart on the end of the field. Keep trucks on the end of the field. Don't unload on the go. I know the large combines today, a lot of farmers say I can't afford to slow down that combine. But yeah, we might want to do that. How much weight is too much weight <laughs> to really see the effects of compaction or ruts, anything like that? Uh, how much weight is too much is always a question I get. It depends a lot on the soil type. It depends a lot on soil moisture. Some of our grain carts out there weigh 50,000 pounds on a single axle. You know, if uh, Department of Roads won't let you on concrete that's reinforced with steel with 20,000 pounds, why does the farmer think you can drag 50,000 pounds across the field? Uh, there's been a lot of research done in the past that, that 20,000 pound per axle is about the max you ever want to go. And so what I want to do is like our trucker friends do on the road, to carry more weight safety, I add more axles. Now, unfortunately, combines don't have more axles, but grain carts are coming out now with two and three axles in the grain cart to spread that weight out. But the important thing is, to don't spread it out, put it in the same wheel track. It's okay. The guy, he's done with harvest, but his soil, it's compacted. Maybe he's got some ruts in there. He's like, all right, what am I going to do to get this soil ready for next year? What are some tips on that? Well, one of the best things is to just make the soil that's more resilient to resist compaction. Now, if we already had the ruts out there, it's going to be a light tillage operation. That light tillage operation is usually going to be with a disc. Uh, the disc will move soil side to side to fill in the ruts. That light tillage only on the soil surface. There's no way we're going to disc deep enough to get rid of the wheel traffic compaction itself. That traffic rut goes down deep. So just smooth the surface enough we can get across it next year. But the key is it should be dry when we do that because if it's wet, that disc is just going to pack more and the tractor pulling is going to pack more. And so it could be the kind of thing we let it sit this fall and we hit it next spring and we'll hope for that dry spell there in March or April before planting season so we can smooth it a little bit. So just waiting is key then? Waiting is key and actually the big snow, uh, the freeze thaw wetting and drying that we get with our winters, it actually reduces the surface compaction. It does not really get rid of the rut. And so again, a lot of farmers get concerned about the ruts. Well, if I got a little four row combine, I got a rut every other row, I can be concerned. But if I got a 12 row combine and there's only two ruts across every 12 rows, maybe I just learned to manage that and just a, a little narrow disc to fill that in and leave the rest of the soil undisturbed so it's less prone to compaction next year. 